Psalm 9, for the director of music, to the tune of The Death of the Son, a Psalm of David. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing the praises of your name, O Most High. My enemies turn back. They stumble and perish before you. For you have upheld my right and my cause. Sitting enthroned as the righteous judge, you have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name for ever and ever. Endless ruin has overtaken my enemies. You have uprooted their cities. Even the memory of them has perished. The Lord reigns forever. He has established his throne for judgment. He rules the world in righteousness and judges the peoples with equity. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Sing the praises of the Lord enthroned in Zion. Proclaim among the nations what he has done. For he who avenges blood remembers. He does not ignore the cries of the afflicted. Lord, see how my enemies persecute me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gates of death, that I may declare your praises in the gates of daughter Zion, and there rejoice in your salvation. The nations have fallen into the pit they have dug. Their feet are caught in the net they have hidden. The Lord is known by his acts of justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. The wicked go down to the realm of the dead, all the nations that forget God. But God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will never perish. Arise, Lord. Do not let mortals triumph. Let the nations be judged in your presence. Strike them with terror, Lord. Let the nations know they are only mortal. Psalm 10 Why, Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In his arrogance, the wicked man hunts down the weak who are caught in the schemes he devises. He boasts about the cravings of his heart. He blesses the greedy and reviles the Lord. In his pride, the wicked man does not seek him. In all his thoughts, there is no room for God. His ways are always prosperous. Your laws are rejected by him. He sneers at all his enemies. He says to himself, Nothing will ever shake me. He swears, No one will ever do me harm. His mouth is full of lies and threats. Trouble and evil are under his tongue. He lies in wait near the villages. From ambush he murders the innocent. His eyes watch in secret for his victims. Like a lion in cover, he lies in wait. He lies in wait to catch the helpless. He catches the helpless and drags them off in his net. His victims are crushed. They collapse. They fall under his strength. He says to himself, God will never notice. He covers his face and never sees. Arise, Lord. Lift up your hand, O God. Do not forget the helpless. Why does the wicked man revile God? Why does he say to himself, he won't call me to account. But you, God, see the trouble of the afflicted. You consider their grief and take it in hand. The victims commit themselves to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked man. Call the evildoer to account for his wickedness that would not otherwise be found out. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations will perish from his land. You, Lord, Hear the desire of the afflicted. You encourage them, and you listen to their cry, defending the fatherless and the oppressed, so that mere earthly mortals will never again strike terror. Psalm 11 For the Director of Music of David In the Lord I take refuge. How then can you say to me, Flee like a bird to your mountain? For look, the wicked bend their bows. They set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows at the upright in heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? 
The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord is on his heavenly throne. He observes everyone on earth. His eyes examine them. The Lord examines the righteous, but the wicked, those who love violence, he hates with a passion. On the wicked, he will rain fiery coals and burning sulfur. A scorching wind will be their lot. For the Lord is righteous. He loves justice. The upright will see his face. Psalm 12 For the director of music, according to Shimoneth, a psalm of David. Help, Lord, for no one is faithful any more. Those who are loyal have vanished from the human race. Everyone lies to their neighbor. They flatter with their lips, but harbor deception in their hearts. May the Lord silence all flattering lips and every boastful tongue. Those who say, By our tongues we will prevail. Our own lips will defend us. Who is Lord over us? Because the poor are plundered and the needy groan, I will now arise, says the Lord. I will protect them from those who malign them. And the words of the Lord are flawless, like silver purified in a crucible, like gold refined at seven times. You, Lord, will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked, who freely strut about when what is vile is honored by the human race. Psalm 13, for the director of music, a psalm of David. How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep in death, and my enemy will say, I have overcome him, and my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise, for he has been good to me. Psalm 14 For the Director of Music of David the fool says in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. Their deeds are vile. There is no one who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. All have turned away. All have become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. Do all these evildoers know nothing? They devour my people as though eating bread. They never call on the Lord. But there they are, overwhelmed with dread. For God is present in the company of the righteous. You evildoers frustrate the plans of the poor. But the Lord is their refuge. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. When the Lord restores his people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Psalm 15, a psalm of David. Lord, who may dwell in your sacred tent? Who may live on your holy mountain? The one whose walk is blameless, who does what is righteous, who speaks the truth from their heart, whose tongue utters no slander, who does no wrong to a neighbor and casts no slur on others, who despises a vile person but honors those who fear the Lord, who keeps an oath even when it hurts and does not change their mind who lends money to the poor without interest, who does not accept a bribe against the innocent, whoever does these things will never be shaken. Psalm 16 A Mictam of David Keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, You are my Lord. Apart from you I have no good thing. I say of the holy people who are in the land, they are the noble ones in whom is all my delight. Those who run after other gods will suffer more and more. I will not pour out libations of blood to such gods or take up their names on my lips. Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance." I will praise the Lord who counsels me, even at night my heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand 
I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead, nor will you let your faithful one see decay. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Psalm 17 A Prayer of David Hear me, Lord. My plea is just. Listen to my cry. Hear my prayer. It does not rise from deceitful lips. Let my vindication come from you. May your eyes see what is right. Though you probe my heart, Though you examine me at night and test me, you will find that I have planned no evil. My mouth has not transgressed. Though people tried to bribe me, I have kept myself from the ways of the violent through what your lips have commanded. My steps have held to your paths. My feet have not stumbled. I call on you, my God, for you will answer me. Turn your ear to me and hear my prayer. Show me the wonders of your great love. You who save by your right hand those who take refuge in you from their foes. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings from the wicked who are out to destroy me, from my mortal enemies who surround me. They close up their callous hearts and their mouths speak with arrogance. They have tracked me down. They now surround me with eyes alert to throw me to the ground. They are like a lion hungry for prey, like a fierce lion crouching in cover. Rise up, Lord, confront them, bring them down. With your sword, rescue me from the wicked. By your hand, save me from such people, Lord, from those of this world whose reward is in this life. May what you have stored up for the wicked fill their bellies. May their children gorge themselves on it and may there be leftovers for their little ones. As for me, I will be vindicated and will see your face when I awake. I will be satisfied with seeing your likeness.